There you go. Double the frickin' speed. Oh crap, the volume's loud. Hey, you're booking along. It goes 12 kilometers, 12, 12 kilometers an hour, and it's twice as wide as you. So it's faster and wider. I'm not even like optimizing this properly, but whatever. So did you guys get a server running, or what's going on here? Yeah. Uh, it's a six person server? server. It's like five bucks. It's cool. Oh, better. Geez. How do I? Can I just join you through Steam? Uh, no. You gotta go to. The, go to are you on the, the. I'm in, I'm in the menu right now. Okay, go to multiplayer. Okay, you will have to download the mods we have on this. Oh, uh, yeah. You wanna cook them up with those? What what will do. Here, hang on. This game is like all about the mods. Yeah, there's so many mods. Nope. No. I s after seeing all the mods that are already available for it, I don't know why you would buy the DLC. It's like a trick. It's like basically just what does what a mod. Remember how seriously some people take this game. There's actually quite a few whales. Mods are really okay. easy to install. Yeah, when too. you go when you go to join the server, uh, you should be able to like look at the server details, and it'll show all the mods that are there. Search them and get them from there. And all you do is you download them as zips, and you just have to put them in the mods folder where the, uh, the game is installed. I'll tell you that mm. once you're ready to do that, I'll tell you where to put them. Wait, server details? Where's that? Okay, go go to the multiplayer thing and get. Okay, hold on. I like how make a character. I like how soon as I open you this can... game, it's like fucking Kate Kona music out in my face. Kate Kona, uh, you're gonna make a character. It's not. It doesn't matter. Like it, you, you know, that screen comes up every time for some reason. So you can just always edit your character. Uh, and you're not allowed to wear a John Deere cap. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm. I am literally wearing one right now. What do you mean? Oh well, in that case, it's a team thing. You've got to wear a John Deere cap. Okay, I have to wear. There we okay. go. There's like so many fucking caps in this game. There's like more caps than anything else. There's even a mod for a cowboy hat. Dude, why aren't we doing that? Yeah, why aren't we doing that? Because we don't have horses yet. True. Oh yeah, you can ride horses, can you? Yep, you can have horses and you can ride them and you can obviously sell them to get like better and stuff. If you get server hiccups, it's because I'm falling trees. Okay, nice uh, character. So, as soon as you're done with your character, then go, another screen will pop up. Go to International. I like how there's Germany and then Germany too. Yeah, this game's kind of big there, Germany. Um, yeah, a lot of Germans play these simulator games. I don't know why, but it's <laughs> they love them. <laughs> okay, so, we're milking. Uh, the server name's The Cheese. With C H E E Z. I see it. And then uh, I don't know if you're gonna need the password right now, but anyway, the password is uh, capital P E N. The, the the number fifteen. It spells pen fifteen. <laughs> Wait, how come it won't let me join? You don't have the mods. Probably, you don't have the oh, mods. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta get the mods. That's where, look at the server details. Okay, and that's where you'll see, see the list of mods. Uh, okay, I see it. I'm just gonna screenshot this.
Timber, timber, timber. There's an option here that says just download all mods. Uh, you might be able to. There's you might a be game able. server. I, I couldn't get it to work, but you can try it. I don't understand what it. This is one of seven. I downloaded it. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> They're not. Might not. They might not all be available on the in-game. Okay. I'll just. The website's really easy. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way then. Yeah, it's probably better. Um, yeah, and then once you download them, you put them. It's in. There's a folder in my documents. I think right. My documents. My game. My, docu then... my documents. My games. Farming some internet. 2019 mods. That's where it goes. And you don't have to unzip them or anything. You just put the whole zip in there. The game knows how to read them. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sweet coffee, get in my belly. I'm a lumberjack and I am okay. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? What do we? What? What do we do now? Is all your fertilizing and everything done? Uh, no. I guess I could fertilize. Does it need liming? How do I see if it needs liming? Uh, liming is kind of like plowing, I think, every so often. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't need lime, because you can see the... Uh, it's in the map there, that soil composition. I don't know if I can this tractor drive over things because it's got the skinny track. Should because I think that's the whole purpose of the skinny tracks. I 
I mean, if you want to test it when we get the crop in, just like drive over a little sliver just to see if any get killed. Nice to have more than one track. I can only find version 1.0 for this log fork duo. Uh, there should be both. Just gotta make sure it matches, that's all. Uh, shit. How about we get the zip file? Maybe you can just upload it to um, Discord? <laughs> you might be able to, actually. You probably could. Oh, wait, Here, wait. I have to, hold on. Why not? I, just, I could just do that. Yeah, that's that's a good point, yeah. Turbo or whatever. Christ, we should have done that. You could have just packaged up all the mods. Is there six mods right now? Seven. Seven mods. I have like four of them already. There. I got to. Where, where's the sixth one? Yeah, that's the winch. Oh, don't get that bio belts one. We're not running. We're not using that one. The second to the bottom one. I, the one I the and just I just put a bunch. No, the second to the bottom one. Don't use that one. Oh, I'm dumb. Ha <laughs> ha. I just uploaded them to the wrong person. Hey! Who'd you upload them to? Well, that's awkward. Yeah. Who'd you send them to? One of the wow people. <laughs> He's probably gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Oh shit, looks like Corey broke down and bought it. I see he's playing farming simulator well, 19. I'm glad we I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad we have seventy thousand dollars to buy them tractors. <laughs> like Richard can use the other tractor, that's good. But Corso can uh, yeah. <laughs> first come, first hmm. serve? I'll have to put them to work with the logs with me. Yeah, I guess we have a lot. We have people can log. Actually, in that case, you'll be able to pack up drop the mods and send them to him. That'll be easy then. Can we just upload it to one of the Discord things? Did, not, did it not work? I just put it in Vibranium. Nah, fuck that. Everyone needs to know. You could, yeah, you could just, yeah, good idea. There's probably going to be more mods eventually. There's always, like, there's lots of little, like, quality of life mods. You know, I'm glad sprayers in this game are not punishing. Oh, because they're fast they're all, and they cover a big area? Yeah, they're all big. Even the shitty ones are big.
All right, what's the next target? Okay. Countdown and essentials. What are you like? How's your equipment looking? Uh, I mean, well, that's gonna. I I could use a bigger cedar, but that's not probably very expensive. Okay. Because what I would like to do is get one of those properties up on the mountain. Shit, tank is empty. Even if it's a little one, I can make like you know I can work with that as long as it's flat, relatively flat. Ow. They're already already empty? God. As I said, a bigger cedar would be nice. I paid okay. my entrance fee. Oh, Good thing we just uploaded a, li a list of mods that you'll need. <laughs> Convenient. Really? It's the ones we got on the server. Oh, good Gandhi. So I have to have all that installed? It's not that hard. So what do you do? You download them all and what? Okay, you download... How did you do that? You might have to put in. Uh, there's a little download thing next to the thing, but um, you probably have to run the game to get the mod file to up here, maybe. Is pen fifteen in all caps? Uh, yeah, no pen fit. Okay, P E N in caps, and then fifty. Oh, okay, okay. It's literally penis. Oh, uh, with 15. I know, shocking. How vulgar. I... We wanted to have something that Bobby would appreciate if he joins us. If? He doesn't own this? Nah, he's, uh, he like, has he's fishing right now, isn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 He has 15. He has 17. We have 17. 19's. He's got, like, no impulse control when it comes to buying stuff, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if he joins us. You don't say. <laughs> He buys me shit when I tell him to not fucking buy me shit. Well, have you told him to buy shit? Maybe he won't. What? Hey, it's basically what you want to do is first you want to download all those zip files that the cheesy linked. First and foremost, I'm sure with your connection it won't take very long. I think they're downloaded, but well, are they in your downloads folder? Where am I downloading to? Downloads. I mean, unless you've got Discord set to put them somewhere else. I okay, I still can't get the password oh. to work. What's going on here? Put it in Discord. Downloads in progress, but... That's the password. Well, I tried that, I'll try it again. That is the password, right? I don't know. After I typed it in the first... Wait, hang on. I might have mistyped a capital or something. Let me see. Yeah, that should be. Because I only password... typed it the first time, and then the game remembers after that. You don't have to type it in anymore. Yeah. The password to join the farm is a bit cheesy, right? No, I... I uh, wait, what? No, that's... Yeah, that's a different... Oh! Oh, okay. yep. Synchronizing data with other players. Uh-oh. 
Now you just got to join the farm. Uh, you want to tell him how to do that? Hit escape. Go to the little barn symbol on the top tab. Uh, the one with multiple people in it? Nope, the one next to it. So, yeah, join farm. Password it's is... It's a bit cheesy, I believe, right? I cannot remember. Okay, I think it worked. <laughs> Yep, it worked. So you can have multiple farms on one server? That's yep. a new. That's new with 19. Oh, that's yep. cool. I don't think those links are working for me. They should. They work for... Like, I hit the link and it ups it up in my thing and it shows it's downloaded. Where is Discord set to put download files? says it's uh, I went show file and it says unconfirmed bunch of random numbers download uh, uh, Richard if you press tab you can teleport from vehicle to vehicle to get here oh. or to get anywhere else okay you just be kind of spamming tab and you'll jump from vehicle to vehicle no, they don't. They're not working. It just keeps saying unconfirmed weird download. So I'm farming, and T Tex is my uh, is lost. Who's this person in the cedar thingy, or whatever this thing is? That's an AI. You can, you can hire Andrew. a worker. Yeah, that's Alejandro. Oh. See, I click on... Are you clicking on the file? I don't know. It doesn't matter I what click I click on. on. Like even a little arrow on the very right? Yeah. Because when I do it, it opens up a little uh, window in my Firefox. Yeah, so, right so does mine. Okay, and what's your options? To save or what? It just automatically downloads. But when I look at the download, it says unconfirmed download. And when I go to exit Chrome, it says downloads are in progress. But it says they're fully downloaded. 37.7 out of 37.7. Okay, what about if you open your file manager and look in your downloads directory? That's what I'm saying. Like in the downloads directory, they're showing as unconfirmed download oh wait what's this where did, where did this stuff all come from this is our new tractor Richard it was very expensive oh what's this what's this yellow one you need bigger and bigger tractors to have pull bigger and bigger equipment so this one was bought to pull that yellow thing over uh, over by the oh well like one dude left it looks Combine. like they were working. On the other side of that, there's a yellow trailer. It pulls looks that. Oh, that's looks big like yellow. Looks like they were what? Yeah. And it, um, that's what, so the way farming works is, uh, you get a field like this, and then you have to prepare it before you plant things. So you gotta, like, plow it, and then you gotta seed it, and then you gotta fertilize it. And there's some other steps that we're skipping because they're annoying, but maybe when we get better equipment, I'll turn them back on. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and then you like that dude over there, the oh, Alejandro, he's, uh, he's, he's seeding and I'm fertilizing. What should I do? Uh, I would say you should help T-Tex when T-Tex is done doing what he's doing. Cause right now, um, logging is tractors. our primary. Yeah. That, that we need more tractors and. Logging is our primary source of income at the moment. So what do I do with these files now? They did seem to download. Okay, you want to... You don't have to open them or anything. You just got to copy them to uh, go into your documents folder. Documents folder? Yeah, do you see? Usually yeah. Windows has like the doc. Okay, go to your documents, go to my games. 
farming simulator. Go in there, yeah, and then go to mods. And just dump them in here. Dump them right in there. The game knows how to open them. Oh, that makes it easy. As I said, it's not that hard. I got two farming simulators. <laughs> I don't know if well, I can get rid of the other one. Because your old one, that's right. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Although they should, they should, it should use the same one. Like my save works. I noticed my save was fine. Two. Oh. It... So what T Tex is doing is he cuts all the trees down in like a row, and then we cut them into lengths that are the, like the most optimal to sell, and then we load them into the trailer there, and we go and sell. And they make a whole fuck ton of fuck ton of money. Farming yeah. so simulator is like very uh Oh, it's a relaxing game. Chill? No, it's not, it's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> There's it says multiplayer four servers, international server. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna go to international? What am I looking for? You want to find the cheese? What is it? Cheese? The cheese. Just type in it's cheese. C H E E Z. Type that in the search and it should come right up. I, I guess you're lining this up now, huh? Sorry? You're lining these yeah. up? Yeah. You line them up because then we can grab them easier with the with the uh, the fork amp. We need to expand operations to include more people now. We're working on it. Of course, you joined the server after I got a lot of the busy work done on the trees here because I already limbed them. <laughs> should let him try to load them. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> Sounds like a tricky Let's job. Do one. Let's, Let's do, do it. one load. Let's do one at a time. Nah, that's that's not going to fly. I need to do all of them. Work smarter, well, not like, harder. I think, the mo I think the most you can lift with a clause too. Yeah, you wouldn't want to try it with this one. <laughs> You know, because you, know, you know that you know that picture I showed you of the tractor upside down. Yeah, that's how stuff shit like that happens. Because the physics in the game go, oh my god, and then it's like a toddler that you know flipped all the board game off the table. Oh, what's going on? Oh, uh -oh. synchronizing data with other players. A new challenger has arrived. So you're organizing them into pairs. Uh, actually, I'm trying to organize them all so they're like all together as much as possible. Uh -huh. Basically, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to cut them first, though, right? Synchronizing data. Hello. I don't know. I was I was tabbed out. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Oh yeah, you don't tab out when it's synchronizing. There we go. Normally it doesn't take that long. Yeah, normally. Yeah, I, I had tabbed out and it was like locking up my computer. Uh, if you hit escape and go to the little tab that looks like a barn. Not the one with the little people on it that looks like a barn. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I was just looking for something. My sister-in-law posted a picture. Where was it? I'm guessing a new tractor costs hundreds of thousands. Yeah, this one was 500,000. What? You bought a $500,000 tractor? <laughs> yep. We uh, we took out some extra loans and did a lot of work to get it. <laughs> but we needed... Bacheezy wanted a big dick tractor, so now he's got one. God, this winch is the best thing in the world. Come on, where's that picture? Uh, all right, have I got any stragglers hanging back? I got this one. Oh, 
I'm so glad the winch can be operated by remote. <laughs> And get these two little puppies over here. Oh, God, just one under the other. Try it. That'll work. <laughs> this is what my my sister-in-law was doing Thursday. Oh, this driving around on a, <laughs> an old putt-putt. Old Massey Ferguson. That's what I'll be doing probably the next few weeks. Not driving, but bailing. Loading. Oh, God, bailing. Yeah. Farming for real life is not so fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bailing, yeah, that's good for the lungs. You breathe in all that shit in. <laughs> all right, close enough. I don't think I've missed any. What the heck? There's a giant empty space here that used to be yeah that's kind of what it started to... yeah go into your uh, what did you just buy another cedar uh, <laughs> uh, go hit it yeah hit escape go to little uh, barn symbol little barn tab join farm yeah join farm the, the, the password is bitch easy now jumpins spelled the same as in discord yeah Ramping up production, baby. Wrong password. Maybe there's no capital. Probably not. I don't know if this is exactly what this winch is designed for, but it works great. Makes a great little uh, bulldozer blade. How's your contracts doing? You getting no contracts going? <laughs> We've been too busy. They all suck anyway. Now it screwed up my video settings. That kind of sucks. Well, you've essentially reinstalled the game again. <laughs> yes. You're no longer sailing the high seas, so. So my I'm very pixelated. Hey, you got a blue truck. Friggin' thing sounds like it's gonna fall apart too. Oh, who did I just join? Helper G. Uh, come on, ping, 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 ping. Come on, you can do it. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> Just a so little where more, are you guys. You guys, these little red dots running around. Yeah. Yep. Man, you do have a good-sized field here, Hokey Diners. Wow. <laughs> All right, now. Time to cut these into lengths. Why are you tell them about the John Deere hats? Oh yeah, you're supposed to wear a John Deere hat. That's right. I don't know how to wear a John Deere we're, hat. We're sponsored by John Deere. I am not a John Deere person. <laughs> Anyways, to make the measurement tool work, you basically stand over it because it'll be right where your feet essentially are. Hold Alt and hit right click, and that's essentially putting down the marker. And then of course, as you step away from the marker or whatever, that's how far you are. So I'm cutting these trees into 10 meter lengths. Oh, so I run down here to... Like I'm here now because meter. I've marked at the base of this tree and this is 10 meters. So... Sorry, how do you put down a marker again? And now I'll go down to 20 oh, and I'll cut there. So this is 10 meters for me right here. Just a sec, let me finish my... Because your tree. things weren't lined up. Cool. You, you mocking my, my lineup job? No, but the one you were cutting on is not the same lineup as the like four that I was standing on. So it was off a little bit. And then, of course, if you cut it into three lengths, there'll be like a little tip. If you cut like the tip up into like little tiny chunks, it'll vanish once they get rid of it. Where's your where's your uh, um, what? grinder? Don't okay. have one yet. Don't we? I thought we did. Not here, no. No, we don't. So have this is. 
this should be 10 feet then right here, or 10 meters. Yeah, 10. It doesn't have to be exact, just pretty close. Cool. So what did you do? You press control and what? Alt, alt, right click. Alt. Basically put down, marks the spot, as they say. And then alt, right click again, we'll get rid of it. And we're cutting in 10 meter cool. lengths. 10 meter lengths, yes. I'm gonna go start over here. Actually, I need to get off. <laughs> I just came on to see if it was working. <laughs> well, you won't have to put the password in anymore or anything like that. The game won't remember it. Okay. You guys are so poor. You're slackers. <laughs> Look at all this shit we have. We're not poor. It's just invested in our machinery. Yeah. You do have a chainsaw. Just roll your mouse wheel. I noticed that. I was like, it must be because you guys own chainsaw, so we yeah, all get one. Not, yeah, because when you buy the chainsaw, it's available for everybody. That's cool. So what's... Is this big weird thing your dragger? Yeah, that's the winch. Uh, here, I'll show you. Start the tractor up. Start the winch. Sometimes you gotta, like, start, stop it, start it again. Okay, so it's running. You can actually hear a little whine off of it. And what you do is you go up to a tree, wait until the little hand signal appears, like as if you could pick it up, and hit B. And now if I hold Z... Hit what? B? Yeah, B will attach and remove the choker. And you can put multiple chokers, so you can like hook oh. onto multiple trees. But yeah, now if I hold Z, she winches in. If I hold Shift and Z, she winches really fast. That is cool. It's like, it is so good. Like, that thing should be in the base game. I am not kidding. Did you have anything else that was really funky? Uh, or is that your really pride and joy funkiness? Well, that's certainly the pride and joy, that's for sure. Uh, other mods, like, there's a refueling station here. Actually, Bejeezy did some nice landscaping here. Look at this nice concrete. God, this is ever nice. Oh. That's a fuel station. Uh, that's, fertilizer that's tanks, Where fertilizer and seed tanks. They're not just pallets? Well, there's pallets here, but the fertilizer and seed tanks are over here. Oh. So all you do now when you want to refill, yeah, you just go up and it'll charge you. So you refill right from the tanks instead of having to constantly get pallets. We'll have to figure out something to do with these pallets, I guess. Since they're kind of redundant now. Fill them up. Or use those as your... Use them up, I should say. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. Hey, you got a little stinking house? What is this stuff? This yellow stuff? Corn? Yeah, we had some leftover corn from a job. It's dumped dirt. Apparently we stole it from our employer. <laughs> Your employer? Well, yeah, we did the contract to, like, take the corn and deliver it. And he was like, okay, contract done. It's like, there was still some corn left over. So I was like, well, I guess this is our corn now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, see these little tips? If you cut them into, like, little tiny chunks, they actually vanish. Oh, okay. It's just a quick and easy way to get rid of them, because they're useless. Yeah. Just basically, you're cutting the tip off the penises. Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess that's a good analogy. <laughs> We're circumcising the trees. Alright, you're working on this bunch. I'll get these ones cut up. Oh, wait, did I miss a branch? Yes, I did. See if you line them up better, you could just cut them all in the same spot. Usually, if I have the extra time and I'm feeling energetic, I do, and then I just measure one and like just go up the whole length. Oh, really? <laughs> Must be hard to line them up like this, though. That... Well, it is hard... time. It is time consuming, but the idea is if you cut down like a dozen trees or two dozen trees, and you take the time to do it with all of them in the long it run, saves you get... time. Yeah, in the long run, it is saving you time. What do you mean I can't run with a chainsaw? Dude, look at the safety gear we're wearing. Come on, safety first. Okay. Am I wearing safety gear too? Uh, yes, you are. That's cool. So when you take, when you get rid of your uh, chainsaw, does your vest go away? Oh no, just the helmet and gloves, I guess. I don't know, this doesn't seem very realistic. Shouldn't you be making us sandwiches? 
Hey now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chop you in bits here. I don't know. I didn't like the guys. They were ugly, so I went with this with this girl. Well, Man, there were some of the ugly John girls too. Look at these John Deere caps. I mean, jeez. And the server's on like... all the time, so you can join it like whenever. Yeah. And it'll pause when you leave too, so it doesn't. Leave. Yeah. If nobody's on, it'll actually pause. That, which that's a good feature. Oh, I can change my... John Deere, where's this stupid John Deere? This thing hauls ass, by the way, for net seating. You should see what it can do when you put the winch on the back of it. You can haul, like, a dozen trees behind it. It's ridiculous. I'll probably be back later. Okie dokie. See ya. Now, now you're a legit farmer. Yeah, I'm not a pirate farmer. Stealing from the rich. Giving to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See ya. Later. I knew he'd break down. They always do. This is technically my hashtag first farming an sim. Hashtag another one bites the dust. I'm a measure once, cut once kind of guy. It doesn't have to be exact, just as long as it's close. I mean, try not to be like a meter off. See, I feel like I'm on a fucking spaceship. <laughs> Why? This tractor, it's awesome. Or oh, are you looking around in the uh, in the cabin? Yeah. All right, last two here. I mean, I like how these trees are all pretty much the same height. Yeah, those are the those are the pines I planted. Yeah, we we planted those. Ah. Uh. Their whole purpose in life was to be cut down. It was an honor. I kind of half expected to be doing this with a like a some sort of machine. Not just a chainsaw. There are, uh, are, well, there is a machine. There are machines to do what you're doing. There's a machine to do the entire process of what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, one, We're day I, one day I will get it, but it's like it's like 400 grand for the Scorpion King. Scorpion King? Goddamn. Press P and you can see all the tractors and shit. Okay, so these ones are all done. Yeah, and these ones are done, so I guess I'm ready to start loading. Uh, well, if you want to, I gotta swap up a weight from this tractor. If you hop in the truck and scooch it forward, maybe like a little bit. The idea is you want it lengthwise, like maybe about right, I don't know. Well, line them up kind of? Yeah, you want it, but you want it in a flat area because it's just easier. Or even, actually, if you come over here, maybe. Like along this way, I can work with that. Anyways, I'll get rid of this winch and I'll get the weight on the back. Because it's going to need it. So you want it going perpendicular? Uh, yeah, turn to your left and like, you know, kind of perpendicular to the pile. Because it's nice and flat there. Yeah, I should be able to work with that. So if I can string it out a little bit. Oh, Jesus. If you're ever not sure of the controls, you can hit F1 to bring up all the all the controls and hide it again.
What's my best approach? I'll go to this side. Is this enough, or do you need to be closer? That'll work. I can, like I said, I can work with that. Oh, better turn on the beacon lights. Safety first. That the scooper. This thing is a fucking beast of seating. It's going like twice as fast as the air track. And because this log fork has tension belts, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's great because the physics can be a little janky sometimes. Yeah, definitely, definitely need more tractors, though. <laughs> We're working on it. Well, what's Hernando's tractor doing? I think he's, uh... He's seating. seating. We're paying him for that? Yeah. One! One log. <laughs> oh, <that's okay. laughs> I like to give the trailer a little tap at the, little love tap at the start, just to kind of rock it. Come on, get over. Ah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. If you guys want to stop Hernando from uh, doing it and hook him and get another tractor over there, you can take. Well oh. done. He's not done, but um. About to finish. We can we can wait till he's done. Nah, it's like he's getting it. He's he's gonna need to get reseated, and I'm gonna have to like do that. So I'd rather just not do that. So you want me to stop what he's I, doing? It's actually yeah. It'd be better if you just took a if you just took the tractor. It's fine. I don't. How do I do that though? Uh, just take control. Like, uh, just start driving it. Hernando's to, our default name for any helpers that we hire. You're gonna have to get that tractor reconfigured a little. Uh, so you have to take it to that little shack that we have at the other end of the trees. And uh, once you're there, I'll tell you what you need to do. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can dismiss him. It says, like, it's just not working. If oh, you are you not? Should get rid of him. Can you? Maybe it's because you're not a farm a farm man. Well, I can change that. There, now you're a farm manager. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> this seating thing, seating tub, is very finicky about how you seat, how you fill things up. Like, you have to, like, hit it. Like, it has to be making contact with the seater to fill. It's kind of an you have to get, like, right up against it. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least I know. Oh, okay, Richard, this is important. Uh, you're good in that tractor because it has the skinny tires. If you're in a tractor that has big tires, you can't drive over our fields. I was going to about to ask that. I was like, yeah, quick. Can I just there drive? If you're, if you're in a tractor with the big tires or the truck, or anything, then... Now, you can drive over it right now. It won't do it any harm. But once the plants start growing, then you can't. Oh, okay. Wait, so where's the equipment? Uh, you're going to need to take that tractor uh, to the little shed that's on the other side of the the, the trees. By the, over by the place where uh, Bichizi lovingly put down the concrete. Yeah. Um, park the tractor like in front of that building. There's like some caution tape, I think. Park it like in the caution. You can see on the front of the tractor there's a weight. You need to change out that weight and put a, a front end loader attachment thing. Oh, okay. Where can I leave this thing, the sower? Uh, put it, can you, like, line it up with the other machines? Uh, like, there's a line I'm making by, like, the combine. Like, next to the yellow thing, put it, put this, the, there's the spray tank as well. Okay. Just make that, make a little line of farm equipment. God 
damn it, I keep forgetting to put my um mm -hmm. my ridge marker down. Oh <laughs> I love those things. It's great too because if you line up just the hood of the tractor with it from the cockpit view, it's it's perfect. That's what I'm doing, yeah. That's why I feel like I'm in a spaceship because I'm in in first person right now. The tractor has like a little like has like a crosshair on the hood. Yeah. And that's the purpose of it too. Can I detach it from inside the vehicle? Uh, yeah, that's where you have to detach it. Okay, so on the top left of your screen, there's like a when you're in the tractor. Yeah. There's a little tractor icon with like a little I don't fucking know a square with a curved corner. Yeah, it's like a little highlight thing. That's your selector thing of what tool you're selecting. So you want to make sure you're selected on that, and then once you're selected on, because you can have multiple tools like attached to tools and shit, right? Um, once you're once you're selected, press Q and it'll drop the thing. How do I s select it? G will cycle between them. Yeah, G will. Sorry, yeah, G will cycle through the what you're targeting. Oh, okay. I see. And then Q drops it. Uh, I accidentally unloaded whatever I was carrying. <laughs> uh oh, that's just the seeds or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Oh shit! I was ran something over. You can't break anything, so all you can do is get stuck. So I have to line up the tractor with a or hung up in a tree like I did. Is it this like highlight thing here, like this little glowing area? No, that's it's like you're looking at the shed. Yes. It's literally just park in front of the. Shed. Oh okay. Like really close. Yeah, you see the little. You can kind of if you look close. There's like a little yellow ticker tape. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Yeah, right in front. So if you park, like, right in front of it. That's more than good enough. Okay. Now, if you come over here to the little icon and hit R when you're looking at it, you should see one of the options you can do is to customize. Oh, I see. Should I, wait, repair? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can repair, you too. As well, yeah, you may as well repair it while you're at it. Holy crap, that thing was broken. It was... It never stops. Because you have 403 repairs for that. Yeah, that's that thing was uh, busted up. It still looks pretty busted up. I don't know if it looked fully repaired. Well, it'll look, it'll look dirty because vehicles accumulate dirt. Okay, so I'm in the customization screen. I want front load attacher, yes? Yeah. Yes, that's what you want. And how, how do I disconnect the... Uh... Wait, is there like you said? I have to just the weight. It'll no, it'll it'll automatically do that. Okay. Yeah, because the front loader and the weight are mutually exclusive; they can't both be on. In the picture, you'll see the weights disappear, and like a little piece of metal show up on the. I can't see the weights. Oh, maybe it didn't have weights on. I thought it did. I thought. Like, I can see the... Maybe it's because you get off? Well, oh, maybe. Because I saw the weights driving it. I just don't see them in the customization screen. Yeah, you probably took them off when you hit yes. Have you already hit yes? Yes. Yeah, then that's that'll be gone. So now there's, like, a little piece of, like, fucking metal or something. Yeah. Yeah, because you should have mountings now on the front of the tractor. That's where the loader can attach. Okay, so now what do I do with this thing? So now you're done. So you leave that screen, and you're gonna want to pick up. There's a there's a there's a loader attachment somewhere near that. Is it this green one that's just sitting right in front of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should be a spare loader. We'll have to get him another log fork. Oh, he can do that. We can learn how to buy things, spend all our money. How do I <laughs> how do I attach I, stuff? Currently, I'm the only one doing that. Uh, drive up to it and hit Q. It'll say, like, if you have your little control window open, it'll say, like, attach at the top when you're you'll, in range. Uh, yeah, you just got to wrangle your front end. Sometimes it's a little arms. finicky. Like, it actually has to be fairly well lined. Uh... 
<laughs> I do not see a front loader. Oh wait, yes, there is a front yeah, loader a attachment thing. on this. It doesn't give you the option when you get up. Yeah, let's try and. He's so picky. Here. You're good at it. It might be it's sitting at a little janky angle. Let me let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, bring it down. <laughs> there we go. Try that. Cut down it. Work. Load it. It's like what? It's like watching a baby take his first steps. It's okay. It'll. You, it's sometimes shit's finicky. I don't see you. Get good at it. <laughs> he keeps bumping in it because you gotta get the uh, you gotta get the hood in between the two arms. You gotta get pretty close. Oh, you literally have to like weave it in there. Okay. Yeah. Oops, I dropped my weight. Oh, there it is. There we go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I thought you uh, just you're to gonna wanna, Yeah, you're gonna want to... You won't need that pallet fork. So if you cycle to the very... Because you notice how on the, your little icon in the top left, you have, like, two boxes on the front? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... Yeah. The front one is a pallet fork. You you won't need the pallet fork. So, just so cycle to the very front one? Yeah, but put it out of the way so we don't, like, drive over. Like, I don't know, here's a good place for it over here. Oh, okay. Maybe, like, right right over here, right next to the grass or something. Just so it's out of the way. Don't lose it now. There we go. Now, you want to hit P to go to the shop. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Just want to buy a now, bunch of shit. We don't have a lot of money, so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, because this isn't a vehicle, this is an attachment you're looking for. In the top tabs, you want that little trailer symbol. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's for tools. Scroll to the right. Okay. And because this, this is an attachment for your front loader, you want to go the front loader's category. Okay. Scroll all the way to the right. Front loaders. Got it. Once you're in there, scroll all the way to the right. You want that log fork duo. You do not want that log fork duo XL. Okay. You want the log fork duo. <laughs> yeah. Double click on that. Yeah. You can change the main color of this thing if you want to. Which we do because we're John Deere. Okay. And there's there's an actual green. One of the green colors is actually called John Deere green. Oh, so it is. I mean, that looks like the only thing, so... <laughs> lease? And then once... Uh, no, you don't want to lease it, because leasing is just renting it. We've got more than enough, may as well just buy it. Okay, I'm just gonna buy it then. Yeah. Okay, I can fetch it at the store. So now we gotta go to the store to go get it. You can hit number 9 to make the map bigger if you want, or hit escape and look the map there. Uh, okay. But follow me and I'll take you to the store. We go to town. Oh, right on this pallet. A sec, I'm gonna dump this off. You're gonna oh, wanna remember. Yeah. We better get him a weight, like a proper weight too. Oh yeah, the big yellow one there is too big. <laughs> no, that's a little much. Is that white one? That white one we have is a little. Hang on. What is? What is? How heavy? Oh, 3,300. Yeah, that's a little much. <laughs> what is this one? 24. Yeah. Maybe that okay. That white one should work actually. It really fucking. Wow, shit! <laughs> there we go. You can try to attach it. It's um. Uh, this is yeah, the yeah, turn around. Gonna, this is the front. Yeah, yeah. Come at the, come at it so that your three point hitch max is just up at the back. This one might might be a little heavy. It's we'll the, it's the next category down from the one I've got. It should be enough. You're gonna get good at backing up. <laughs> Wait, like that? Yep. Oh, so your front end is like lifting up off the ground slightly now, so... <laughs> uh, can I pop it's a wheelie? Okay. You, yeah, if you don't go over fucking hills and... You can lower it. Lower it down to the ground. Press V. There. Now it's center of gravity and all. Okay. You just kind of drag it, but yeah. It'll be better once we put the log fork on the front, because you'll have a little more weight on the front of the tractor then. Jesus. Ugh. 
can't, I can't go that fast. <laughs> What's the matter? You not got traction? No. Of course, it also helps. I've got like wheel weights and everything on this thing. <laughs> You've got the dinky little narrow tires for field work. Hey, man, as long as it works. I'm, it's triggering me that this weight is not John Deere green. Yeah, we fucked that up. I had well, I did that to at a quick glance. We'll tell them apart because we're not the same weight. Oh. Yeah, but they look different. Not if they're. I mean, not from a distance. Yeah, they're from a quick glance. Oh. What's taking so long? I'm coming. That's it. I'm lifting this thing up. <laughs> it's not my fault if this thing tips over. Oh, that's a truck. Cement truck. You'll learn to hate the civilians and the vehicles. They're assholes. Do they never yield? <laughs> no, they'll just, like, drive into you. Yeah, sometimes they're, they're sometimes they'll stop, but yeah. They do so reluctantly. Cut down. Now, if you look at the sky right now, you'll see that I'm fast forwarding time by 120 to normal speed because our field is planted. I see that. And the clouds are. Did you say 120 by. times normal speed? Yeah, it's yeah, the only, right only way to make crops grow at a reasonable board. Alright, what, what am I doing here? Log fork is to the left, see it? Uh, or to my left, not your left. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, go get it. There we go. All right. Uh, try maneuvering it a bit. You'll see. Get used to how it controls. Uh. How do I? Hold left click up and down will lift and lo lower the low odor. Oh, left I click see. and left and right will tilt the fork. And if you hold right click and left and right, that opens the top of the fork. Ah, neato. It's gonna take a lot of getting used to. Yeah, you yeah. are. You're gonna. You're probably gonna have some physics explosions, and it's gonna be hilarious. But we'll see. It takes some getting used to. Oh, so we'll part of the game. Of At least with that bucket, you've got a little more weight on front. Uh oh, car coming. Or it doesn't help. I'm so damn wide. I take up most of the road. <laughs> Hit F and that'll cycle through your headlights. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't know what happened there. That was weird. Is there lights in this game? Is that a mod we need? Like lamps? <laughs> there was a flawed light in the in Farming Simulator 17, but I didn't see it when I was looking earlier. It's gonna be a, now probably that... a mod, and we should probably. Yeah. If we're gonna work through the night. We kind of need something like that, don't we? Uh, the track is up pretty decent lighting, but yeah, uh, not bad. if you press F a bunch, Richard, you'll see like there's different lighting. Modes. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, you went through that. Yeah. Wait, but does that like increase the wear and tear on this thing or what? No. Nah. You can sit there with the tractor off with the lights on, and it won't, it won't like drain the battery or anything. Okay. So... Okay. So picking things, picking shit up, 101. <laughs> oh my god. Let me get around. It's gonna be a lot of like, it's gonna be a lot of um, experimenting. And you're, Richard, your, your tractor's gonna be really tippy, so... Yeah, you're gonna have to be careful, you don't have the wide tires like I do. 
<laughs> if you're gonna like if you're gonna lift the log up don't don't like pick up a log and then like lift your forks in the air and then like drive around because you're gonna so just keep it low until you're ready to lift yeah, it keep into your the low center of gravity for as long as possible but anyways like, your best bet is one don't get greedy with these log forks try to you know go for one at a time okay if you're an absolute pro you can do two but like it's a little risky the it's not gonna bit, be pretty the best approach i find is to have your fork like angled like this and come from above like your fingers plucking it up okay yeah man i thought you said this wasn't stressful <laughs> so once you got it down over it start to close the fork slowly because what it is is as soon as you figure the big key to this is not to continue closing the forks when you've got a hold of it because that's when the physics starts to go blah, 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 and janky shit happens see it oh it gives him a lot okay yeah it, it, think of it as like a claw game in one of those like arcade yeah. Games, it's, like yeah, I know it's weird now, but the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Okay. So if you start to slowly close to the upper fork. Now what what you can do is if you start... Whoop. Whoop, see, now notice how that ha worked? Because the physics frigged up because you, you kept pushing when it was already against it. Okay, okay, I see. And, oh, great, it's raining. Um, sorry, yeah, put it back down again like you were doing. So start to close the forks. This is what I like to do. Start to close the forks until you figure, you know, there's a little bit of resistance. Okay, yeah, I got it. I'm going to do the same, just a second. And when I get, you know, when I've got that resistance, what I like to do is just carefully lift it a little, lift it just a little, and tilt it up. And that, like, encourages it to kind of roll back into the forks. Notice I missed a little limb here. Oh. There we go. This is gonna be. It takes some getting used to. It's we do. Yeah. It, it's just something you get used to. We've lifted hundreds of logs. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot it's of practice. Still, sometimes it's still annoying. So. I yeah. like when I do it. I li I, I'm like that, and I, I like go down on top. Yeah, I think of it, I think of the forks as like you're taking your two fingers to pick a pencil up off the top of a table. And I'm like really rough with it. Like I I ram it around, so like I'll like jam it down, and shit, because then it it like, it helps it get it in the forks, if you've got it lined up, of course. Like T Tex is like a surgeon. I'm like a fucking. I'm like a, <laughs> I'm like a linebacker. I just kind of ram it in there. There's two different. There's two methods. They both work. There. I think you got it. I have to tilt it back. I really wish I could use like hand signals right now. <laughs> I don't think it's close enough. Oh. Okay, maybe drive forward a little bit, and then... Or no, I think you're okay. Yeah. Close them. Yeah, I think you got it. There. Now, these forks... this is These forks are a mod, so if you press L, it'll strap it. There. Now it, like, links the physics of the log to your track. Ah, uh, okay. So this is where you gotta be careful, because if you go too quickly and jerk it around, you could flip your track. Because you don't have the wide tires like T Tex does. Your your idea is to keep yeah keep your center of gravity low until you you're ready to lift the lowering the, your uh, weight helps too. Yeah, so basically, yeah, like you're doing now, you drive with it low. Uh, the biggest thing with loading in a trailer is don't get the log this end of the log caught up on this guard. It's really annoying. So, like, yeah, it doesn't really matter if it really... sticks out here a little bit. Like, it's okay. Yeah, because we but can always push it in. Yeah. yeah, just don't put it here. That's, like, number one. Okay. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Uh, the prettier it is, the more logs Ooh. we can get in here, but... Shaking. Oh, oh. It's oh, shaking. 
Okay. Yeah, what is that? That's, the, that's where the physics can get a little wonky. Uh, you can worst case, if it really it. starts, yeah, if it really starts janking out on you, yeah, hit hell to get rid it. of the straps. Yeah, it's from. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it's it happens occasionally. So I gotta pick this thing up now again. Do you want me to move the truck? Yeah, I'll move the truck. Please. Um, he can probably. Well, I might I be able to he can get it. Yeah, I might be able to Yeah, because if he just comes at it from the top, he can get it. I've never seen Actually. that before. Oh, I've seen it a couple times. I'm gonna go repair this thing. When we get a proper, when we get a proper logging operation going, it's gonna be insane how fast we can load a trip. These machines are a little bit finicky when picking up logs, as you can see. I think you got it. Oh, or not? Damn it! Again, it's just practice. That's all it is. Trying to yeah. get it away from the truck. There it goes. Because it's one of those. It's one of those things. The more you do it, you get. It, you start to get a feel for it. Yeah, it's just trying to remember which direction means what. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. Oh boy, we are broke, aren't we? Yeah, I'm about to harvest, though. You gotta, like, think of it like you're you're picking it up with your 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 finger and your thumb, and then you're, like, scooping it into your... So you, like, pick it, you, like, pick it up, and then you scoop. Yeah, it's just kind of, like, it's hard to tell how much resistance is on it. Yeah, that, it is. Yeah, that just comes with time, as you get used to it. There, nice. Now, if you keep rolling it back, yeah, keep tilting up. Now, if you open the forks very gently, see how it slides down? Now you can close them again, just, just enough to sit on it. And if, of course, if you secure the tension straps, that should hold it in place nicely. Normally, it doesn't tweak out like that before. That was weird. <laughs> Especially those middle-sized logs, it likes to do it sometimes. Just trying to. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter too too much where it goes in the trailer, as long as it doesn't get too close to. The... Like that's fine. If you just dropped it in like that, that's yeah, fine. Like it does. Even if it hangs like way off the back, we could just like bring the tracker over and just nudge it in. Need to look <laughs> think for. You'll have, yeah, you'll have to reach way up to get over this trailer. About as high as the loader will go. Just don't want to tip oh, it up. Yeah, you've almost, yeah, now just tilt your forks forward. Remember to let go of your straps, too. Yeah, make, yeah, make sure your straps are let go, and just open the forks gently, and it should roll right out. Pog, Look. dude. Excellent. Now only, like, 15 more to go. <laughs> Oh, you're, yeah, you get caught up on the <laughs> camera. So if you, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but if you look at our corn, it's about to be done. Holy shit, it's done already. Because it's been like a day and a half. It grows really fast. I'm waiting for it. There's like different stages of growing and being like, and I'm waiting for the right stage before we harvest it. So if I were to take this in there, it wouldn't matter. But if I had wide tires, it would ruin it. Yeah, if t -Tex drove in there right now, it'd like leave a trail behind him of death. <laughs> you mean like this? Yeah, don't, don't, don't do no, it. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, even the combine will even the combine will do that. So when you're combining you, or harvesting, you have to be careful where you're driving. Jesus, this thing it's just. It's not a race. It really doesn't take a lot. No matter how long it takes to load this trailer. 
I mean, faster the better, but you know. Time is money, There's man. There's two of you, so it doesn't matter. Like when we get this, when we get a proper system go, uh, it's gonna be fucking rad. Yeah, see, like what I'm doing right now with the loader up high and I'm turning. Oh, don't, don't do, do this that. with your tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Mine can do it because of the wide tires. Don't do it with yours. Don't lo like don't low lift the loader with a load unless you're going straight. Because if you tried it, yeah, you just tip over. Doop. You gotta like, you'll get better at it, but when you're, there's, there's like picking it up and then like a scoop action that you do at the same time as you're, as you're picking it up. You like pick it up and you scoop at the same time. It doesn't help too. Like he doesn't have his muscle memory yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's we, like later. We, don't try to yeah, do that with us, Yeah. With us, with the loaders, the muscle memory, because we don't even worry about the controls. We know them off by heart. Don't do that. You know, just it, eventually that's the way it'll be. We're almost ready. I'm gonna. We'll harvest in the morning, probably. Or I'll harvest in the morning. You guys can maybe do whatever you, should, you want. Actually, maybe he can get crash less than working with you to harvest too. Yeah. Do you want to drive the combine or do you want to drive the tractor? Uh, either's a, either's fine. Which is easier? The combine. Uh, I mean, they're both. None of them. Neither of them are difficult. Uh, well, maybe start, job in this game. Maybe is start them with the tractor. In that case. Starting with the tractor with the wagon. Okay. The hardest job in this game is doing what you're doing right now. <laughs> like, everything else is fairly easy. Yeah, because we believe in starting you off, you know, easy. Well, this is the most, like, interactive thing to do. Like, yeah, AI helpers don't do this job. No. Damn it. <laughs> you could try the second technique, Richard. You could try it instead of going... Again, I wish I had hand. Uh, instead of going down on top, you can do what you're doing now and then like push it into this log. So the bottom kind of gets underneath it. And then while you're like closing the top, you're tilting up. Uh. Like right now your bottom forks are underneath. Yeah, see, nice. Well, that was easier. Yeah. It's just, there's different ways of doing it. That's how I do it. I fucking, that's what I mean. I, I brute force it. Like, I just, I just bulldoze it into my forks. And that's what you kind of do with the front end loader when we get one of those. But we, the front end loader is a whole other ball game. <laughs> like, you're doing one log, the front end loader will do five. Oh, boy. Yeah. I feel like this would be easier if it was actually daytime. <laughs> It'll be daytime soon. A couple oh. hours. And by hours, I mean minutes. I'm going to get the combine in position. Weird. It's kind of snapped into place. Yeah, it does that every now and then. That's all it seems to do. It's like, okay, it's a little strange, but whatever. Oh, got the old two logs there. The top pieces I can get away with two. Because they're the thinnest. I think, uh... TJX, when we're when we buy you the new property for, I think what we should do is, you know how there's those, there's those, uh, I don't know what they're called, where you dump like, you dump shit in them and it's like a concrete barrier. What silage things? Yeah, we should put those along the side of your trees, so that way you can like with the front end loader just ram all the logs into the, the concrete and like. <laughs> Pick up all of like them. Like a concrete barrier. Yeah. That's a 
we actually I should do it here actually <laughs> well this is not going to be like you're going to have all this room to work with afterwards because this is not meant to be permanent with these trees this is just to get us rolling I'll have a proper logging operation later keep pushing In a proper location push you're not underneath yeah there you go now you're under it's kind of nice. not really centered though it doesn't it if you strap it it'll be a, oh you strapped like three okay <laughs> okay uh, uh there you go. <laughs> yeah there you go. Oh, yeah Jesus. you want to be careful oh, okay he's got a butt log too yeah those are really heavy don't ram it into stuff. The physics will go nuts. Even the ground, like if you start dragging it on the ground, it could things gonna start happening. <laughs> <laughs> how when, how many logs can this thing hold? The, the truck. Uh, like I, fifteen, twenty. I don't. Know. Like it depends on the size of the log, and like I try to load it, you know, so it's relatively level with the top. Because if you start getting too top heavy, you risk uh, the. Trailer. You can go first, over. since you're quicker. Right. You, uh, you, you can pretty much fill it. Like, I mean, there's no limit. It's just. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay. Okay. Oh, just settle down. <laughs> settle God. down. Oh, no. Oh, oh. She's bucking. Oh, okay. Oh, my Lord. Settle you're, down. you're about okay. to take off. Settle down. Settle down. Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> I've never seen this. <laughs> so weird. Let me just. They're gonna go fucking put, oh, Yeah, okay. let me just put those down and redo <laughs> okay. that. I'll, I'll go first. <laughs> We're just having a little bit of a temper tantrum there. Are those in their final harvest stage yet? Yep. You're still going at 120 speed? Oh, yep. I am. Uh huh. I was waiting for morning, actually, yeah. Now the farm's making money. It only took, like... Oh, okay, hold on. It's morning. Should I go join you now? No, you're good. Uh, the combine has a has a storage capacity, and I'll tell you when I'm ready, when I need to be uh, unloaded. Okay. Yeah, this trailer's almost ready for a trip to the sawmill anyway. Yeah, it looks like it's getting kind of full there. God, we're like... We're, uh... Money's getting a little... A little tight. <laughs> Down to sub 20k. What's corn worth anyway? Right now? It was like really up in price because when I was selling it off, 2700. What? Yeah. Corn. Three seven hundred. No, it's not. What are you looking at? Am I looking at the wrong one? You might be looking. Oh, at I'm looking at the wrong. You're, yeah, you're looking at soybeans. Corn is next to it, which is still pretty good. It's like thirteen hundred. It's all fourteen hundred. We sold it. We sold it for. I think it was like eight hundred last time. Yeah, it was eight hundred and something. Like that's almost. It's not doubled, but that's like half again. Let's see if I grab two if they're going to have a temper tantrum again. So this is going to be over 100k then. Well over 100k. Don't jinx it. <laughs>
Once right. we have all this cleaned up, you can get. Oh Jesus Christ! Not again! Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, 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 oh getting temperamental cool. there. Um. Uh, oh boy. Oh jeez. As I was saying, when this is all done, you'll get a lesson in how to fall trees. Ooh. I wonder if I could push this one. So it doesn't matter. Oh, hold on. It's still okay, right? It's not. It's kind of sticking out the back a little bit, but I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's okay. As long as it's like not falling out on its own, it's fine. How many more do you want to load in this thing? Uh, I think once I get mine on here, we'll uh, reassess here. Okay. Uh, Richard, when I get to the end of this row that I'm on right now, uh, you could come up and grab some. Okay. Well, actually, let's... no. Never mind. Uh, never mind. See this? See this arm on me, Richard? Yeah, that's it. You gotta you gotta drive underneath that, and if I'm going in the opposite direction, the arm will be over the corn. So you can't drive up because if you drive up, you'll destroy the corn. Okay. Uh, because the trailer that we have isn't skinny tires. Like that tractor could drive over the corn right now, but the trailer that you're gonna grab can't. Okay. Should I prepare this thing? Like, do I need to drop this? I already no. I already there's the the yellow tractor, the super tractor. It's already ready to rock. We oh. stop in that one when it's time. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this load of the sawmill. So you have to you have to strap those down as well, right? Yeah, the uh, I just get in the truck and I just hit L and oh, touch hey. the straps. So, this game, along with a bunch of other simulators, uh, has a radio station that's actually pretty decent. <laughs> Okay. Like an actual radio station. How do with I... actual people. Uh, press 5. And then 6 scrolls through the stations. And you just go to the point where it like switches to online. It'll say like online. Um, and it's simulator radio is the station. I Am I going to get copyrighted if I blow this to YouTube? Yes. Okay. Okay, so you want to no stay off for now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, no music for now. No music for you. But it's John Deere right now, dude. Or John Denver, sorry. John Denver, right? Oh, man. God damn it. I need still to, missing out. I need to rig my mixer so that I can listen to music and have it not appear on the stream. Anybody watching ya? No, but hey, I don't want to get copyright striked. <laughs> so, whatever. This is going to be a photo uh, finish, Richard. Uh, can you come? Uh, it's I'm, I'm almost... <laughs> okay. Actually, someone is watching. In fact, I, in fact, I am ready. So just switch to the yeah. Oh man, this, this is a big boy tractor. You're driving a real big dick tractor now. Yeah, it's got okay, treads and everything. Like, you just gotta do the, or no, here. Watch, wait, 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 wait. Someone in my stream chat was asking if we needed additional hands. I think we're good. We don't even have money to buy anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, drive underneath. Uh, okay, uh, set the cruise control, which I believe press one on the bottom. There's a there's a number. Yeah. In the little speedometer thing underneath the kilometers you're going. Set that to ten. And then once it's at 10, uh, when you, if you press 3, it'll make you go 10, which is the exact same speed, which is I'm, I'm going to start going right. Okay, it's a 10, yeah. Now, oh, now oh. you drive underneath. It's okay, you can't drop any. Okay. Just, just got to line it up. Yeah, it doesn't do, like, over spillage where you lose it. So. Oh, I'm yeah. just still going. Okay. I'm below. <laughs> this is kind of neat. West Virginia. I'm already at 50%. You know, I get you in by singing that? Uh, I gotta cut in, because, yep, oh, we geez. fucked up, so it's okay. It's all good, everything's fine. 
What did you do? No, I just... I filled up before I was going to where he could pick up from, so... Already at 75%. Okay, uh, you can you can drop it there, turn the engine off, and then go back to doing whatever you're doing. I'll get, a, I'll get you another... Wait, wait, well, it's still filling, so... That's just because I'm harvesting. It's only filling by a little... Oh, okay, I'll just um, drop it here then. Yeah, you can stop it right there. Hey man, watch where you spawn that corn. And then when that's filled up, which almost almost is, uh, you'll go sell it, and we'll make money. Money. Oh, leg spike. Oh, Jesus. That was almost a disaster. I like how these trees were placed in a grid pattern directly underneath the hydro lines. Uh, yes, I don't know what we you're talking we about, and if, and if you say a single word to the hydro, I'll kill you. <laughs> I hope no one from Hydra is watching this. Yeah. Uh... No, I, I was reflecting on that when I was planting the trees. I'm like, I, we've just broken all kinds of laws here. <laughs> Y'all ready for that bling bling? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, 52k. Dang. Garbage, not even six. You pickier son. Of... We're almost that there. That was a damn good load. I I give him one sixty grand load, and he's suddenly expecting the world. <laughs> you know, Fucking slave board. driver, I tell ya. Dude, we need another big dick tractor, man. Come on. Actually, we're uh, we're actually okay. We need big dick equipment for the tractor now. I'm okay driving this little. Fucking, I'm guessing this was the first tractor you guys owned. Yeah, we bought Oh no, them. there's the, no, we had a really, really big tractor. That was terrible. Oh, right, yeah. That wasn't the first one, though. Yeah, that poor little New Holland just could not. Was <laughs> I was hooking up to the implements and it just couldn't handle it. Your tractor and T Tex's tractor are the same tractor with different wheels. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're the same model, same engine. Uh, the one I was driving also has a heavy-duty front-end loader. That's probably why I also am heavier in the front-end, because the loader itself is heavier than the one you got. Is it? Oh, I don't know that. Yeah. Oh, that was close. I had another lag spike and I almost went all off the side of the cliff into the waterfall. Oh jeez. How much does that truck cost? Uh, uh we, we leased, leased it, I think. We leased it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not too much per day to rent, actually, but we'll eventually have to buy one of our own. Uh, Richard, I I am... Okay. Can I? Yeah, reverse with this thing? Oh, I can. Yeah, you can if you can handle those. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just... I think it's safer if I just go around. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna flip around and start going in... in this line. This thing has got a lot of... Hey, you missed a corn! What is this? Yeah, I'll come back and grab it later. I wonder if my ISP is going to pinch my connection off soon. Jeez, that kind of internet? I thought you guys would be growing potatoes. <laughs> Ugh, tell me about it. Anybody listening, you know, anybody watching the stream, yeah, ExploreNet sucks. <laughs> That's right, I went there. Come at me, ExploreNet. Ah, they, that's what they run their servers on, is all those tiers. No, they uh, run the you... potatoes you mentioned. <laughs> Salted potatoes. It's not Thank you're quite... Full. Is it? Oh yeah, it is full. Okay, so, what you want to do is go press escape. Okay. Uh, what symbol is it, t -Tech? The money symbol, the right? money symbol? No, it's the little graph symbol. Second of the... Yeah, little, it's the second one, the little graph symbol. Uh, find corn. It looks like corn. Like a cob of corn. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's it. It's the one on the very right. Yeah, I think it's it. it should be, yeah. I go to the place where that has the most money. Um, so, you click. It would be the green. The grain mill, yeah, I see it. Yeah, so if you click the little arrow thing next to the word grain mill, it'll put a, like a waypoint on your screen when you're driving around. Like a big green. Just drive towards that. It'll also highlight it on your map. I see it, yeah. So just, I'm just taking this tractor and this thing all the way over there? Yeah, you're going to go, there's going to be like where on the map, or uh, when you get there, there's going to be like a, uh, like a grate in the ground surrounded by concrete. You'll see it. And you drive on top of that and it'll, it'll give you the option to unload. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, you get it's back. clouded over and raining. I expect my connection's going to bite the big one soon. When you um, when you get back, I'm gonna need to get unloaded again. Let's see if this baby can do 88 miles per hour. Nope, max is out at 43. <laughs> That's still pretty quick. And it's kilometers. The, so. the truck can manage like eight. I've gone the wrong direction. I just realized that. Um, excuse me, I see you did not stop for that stop sign. It's okay. I don't I don't follow these mundane rules. Oh. It's okay. Stop signs are for civilians. I, it's a good thing I can't knock these signs over. <laughs> you can in single player. Oh jeez. This combine needs some work. It's slowing down. It's only going nine instead of How beat up is it? Uh, oops, I just ran over those forks. Um, hmm. <laughs> oops. It's like halfway. Okay, it's really hard to drive the combine into the little tiny little... The steering is so sensitive on these things. Yeah, it's the track. Jesus, 900. How beat up was that thing? Halfway. Oh, no wonder. Like, I think I remember the math or something like that. The machine can lose, like, up to 30% of its horsepower or something. Do you eventually, like, I know you can repair, but do you eventually have to replace equipment? Not in this game, I don't think. You can, it's, it'll, you can just keep repairing it. The other game was it. holy crap, you started getting badly penalized in vehicle maintenance costs. It was kind yeah, of the, crippling at times. The more, the older something got, the more expensive it was to fix. In this game, it's not like that. Thank God. There goes the corn. You should see a spot. Oh, okay, you are saying All right, you figured it out. Ooh, thirty. Wow. Nice. Ooh, ooh yeah, that's that's big dick income. That's just one load too. How much more? How many more loads we got? Uh, three How or many four. We yeah. I'm gonna need immediate. Emptying as soon as you go. Why do you miss the this combine sucks? <laughs> Time to lease a new one. It's just not okay. It just doesn't want to pick those up. Huh? Oh, jeez, that's a fucking. Barn. Uh, 
Uh, as soon as I see a civilian vehicle, I just swerve off the road. So, the the farm is named the Cheese Farm or Bacheesy, but we we don't do how do we we're not doing cheese. We could do milk. Need cows for that. Is 10 the only field we own here? Yep. Currently. Oh, oh. I'm off a bit here. Oh dear. I may be going down for the count soon. Okay, um. I require emptying. Emptyage. You want me to? You want me to just grab that before you get to the next one, or? I'm just gonna go this way. Okay. Okay. Give it to me, all of it. How do I activate cruise control? Three. Uh, Set it to nine because I'm actually yeah. going nine. So, so press one, one. And one and two will adjust. Yeah, one and two will adjust the uh, cruise control setting. Okay. 68%. Okay, I'm good. Sixty-eight percent. Come on, man. I was full. I was a hundred. Well, I was. I was like eighty, eighty-eight percent or something. Combines are hard to drive in first person. <laughs> oh, yep. I can only imagine. How fast does that thing fill up? Uh, it's already 20% full. So there's all sorts of different crops that you can grow, obviously, and like some uh, require different harvester headers, like the thing on the front. Uh, some allow us to like bale afterwards so we can have hay bales or whatever and sell the bales or use them for livestock or things like that. We're just growing corn and I, why are we growing corn and sunflower? I don't even know. We're just growing. We're just we just started with this. We just because do. that's what the header. That's what the header matches. That's why. Well, why did we buy this header? Because there was a crop of corn to start with, wasn't there? See. There. So you see how you see I'm spitting all this shit behind me. Yeah. If. Uh, we're, if we were harvesting, uh, what is it? Like wheat or... In, yeah, gr uh, a grain crop, so wheat or barley. I would be leaving, like, a little path. 
deliciousness behind that we could turn into bale. So you're going to want to go back to the same place you went to before and drop all this shit off. Oh, oh yeah, okay, good. Cool. For another 30k. Does the price adjust, like, as we sell it? Like, the more uh, we sell it, though? No. Yep. I mean, like, not, not at this speed, but as soon as I, as soon as we go back to increasing the speed again, because we just sold a shitload of corn, the corn price is going to drop. I think it's at the end of the day or whatever, the price will adjust. And of course, because in we've the, been saturating the market with corn, yeah, the price will drop. In the time frame that we're talking about, it's not going to change. Uh, I mean, maybe by like a little, like a dollar or something. Uh, in a few days from now, corn's going to be shit, which is why we're going to switch crops back to sunflower. That's why one thing you can do in this game is you get a silo. You can store the stuff in a silo until the price is high if you want. Ah, uh, yeah. That'd be smart. Silos are, silos are a lot of money, and we don't have one. Oh, jeez. We will get one, but uh, what I is... want to get T-Tex a little bit more permanent. I was going to say, what is what is the next purchase on the list? Uh, Like, major purchase? Yeah, what's your next major purchase? Well, okay, hold on. Like, what's what's the next? Are you going to buy a vehicle next? Are you going to upgrade the structure? What's going on? Uh, I know T-Tex wants a better, like, tree area, but he needs to clear out the trees he already has, which is going to be a while, so I don't know if there's going to be some. I wouldn't mind, like, a bigger, uh, um, a, like, a better, bigger cedar, but, uh... Wouldn't hurt to buy a combine, so you're not paying the that too. Costs. Yeah, that's we like could two buy grand, a combine. two point something a day, isn't it? Uh, it's four forty-five hundred. If you've also got that loan to get rid of. Oh yeah. yeah. If you were to buy like a second cedar, for instance, would you could you start seeding a second patch or field? Uh, well, we would have to buy another field, but when we yeah. That when we eventually we will buy another field, and then at that like when we're harvesting right now, we'd have Hernando fucking plowing the the, the second one. Okay. In fact, if if you weren't here right now, it's fine that you are. It's all good. But if you weren't here right now and that other tractor wasn't being used, it would be plowing this field. But it's okay. We need more equipment. Now that we have super tractor, uh, we'll be able to plow this field a lot faster. Yeah, this is going to be a lucrative harvest. Yeah, we timed well it over, corn price. Well over 100k. Because we're at 60 right now. And there's easily two more loads. Hopefully, crop turnaround will start. I mean, it will. It's like super trip. So, okay, what do you want to buy next then, T-Tex? I mean, I, you've been putting a lot of effort into getting the equipment. And I don't want to be just like, I want a combine! <laughs> you know. God, you're so needy, but cheesy. What the hell? If you, wanna, if you want something, go for it. Like, I don't mind. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, God, New don't hold that. Someone's no. back. Oh, that went a lot faster that time. Uh, for what I need. Like, there is, like, one big expensive purchase, but... You want the logger thing? The Scorpion King would certainly, uh... We could get that. Yank things up. I'm down. Because I want Dwayne do, the I Rock do wonders Johnson? with the Scorpion King. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's one hell of, a hell of a farm, man. Sally has left the server. What the hell? <laughs> I'm changing my graphics. <laughs> Crazy graphics screwed up. 
Oh shit, does it matter if I run over another field? Nope. Okay, good. No, you can't destroy the NPC's crops. So yeah, feel free to trot all over them all you like. <laughs> I'm amazed my connection hasn't exploded yet, although I've had a few good lag spikes. Travis, are you ready for another load? 62%. Yeah, 100, what is this? I expect a full load when I get back. Well, we need a bigger combine for that. It's still going to fill up the trailer by like half. a little better. Doesn't look like I'm in Minecraft or something. Okay. Hey. tractor for log grabber you can go do logging if you want Richard and I'll tell you when I'm oh okay um, I thought because no it's just it'll just it'll never stop because I'm obviously yep. harvesting no no I thought because we have someone else here now we can do the logger oh I mean we we don't have enough equipment <sighs> so Yeah, take your head right off. Smack. Somehow I think the game would have a higher age rating if that were the case. I'm surprised you can't run other people over. I was kind of expecting that. You should turn the truck around. You got all the big ends on one end. On the front. Mm, that's just when I alternate. What? Oh, yeah? I just like driving this tractor, man. This tractor is fucking beast. So how many tractors do you guys have? Uh, three. Three. Three now. These two and the big, big one. Oh, did you get my tractor? Oh, no, that's the skid one. The track one. Yeah. Wait, that's a cool tractor. What happened to the tractor you started with? Or the first one, the small one. What? I thought you had a small one. Like a... Oh, we, we turned that it. thing in. Yeah, that was... That poor little tractor could not keep up. Whoa, there's a delay to, like, the turning on this thing. It's a little different. You'll feel it in multiplayer because of latency. But your connection's good enough, you shouldn't have any problems. Yeah, there's, like, a delay in <laughs> things. It's kind of funny. It's weird. Uh, Richard, how much do you have in that trailer right now? Uh, about 54%. How, how much, like, uh, 11, how many units? 11k, 11.4k. Okay. What's the capacity on this thing? I guess it's like 20, 20k-ish? 20 I think it's 21. Don't forget that log fork has tension belts, so it can uh, really help stabilize the load when you. Yeah, just L. There you go. Helps stabilize your load. Uh, in in certain cases, anyways. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm sure you somebody wrecked something. Got to be careful sometimes with taking multiple logs in a load, which that's why it's better to just keep it one at a time. Otherwise, the uh, physics has a little temper tantrum. Eh, oh, <laughs> ow. Uh oh, what about 
am I doing here? Oh. Oh, L. Ha. Yeah, you gotta let the uh, you gotta let the straps go. Um. This tractor doesn't lift high enough to get over that. Well, yeah, you have to tilt the forks back. If you want to go dump that half load off, or the, not half, but if you want to go dump this, uh, I'm at 88%. Yeah. I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure what's left is going to be a full load. Okay. And worst case scenario is I'm just going to, we got to pick up that corn and we don't, we don't have the means of doing that currently because we don't have a bucket. I can go get one. I kind of want to just buy like a little skitter. Just for oh, like gosh. base base purposes. Like the little skid steer? Yeah, they're good for just doing like stump grinding and moving, having a bucket and things. They're not very expensive, they're like 30k. Dude, this fucking radio station has some pumpers. Oh god, my poor connection. Is that why you're not streaming, Charles? No, I just... We were up until 3.30 a.m. last night. I'm tired. <laughs> Holy shit, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. That's almost well, time to like, wake up for you. A lot of games nowadays, you finish a task in 10 minutes because that's the play session the game's designed for. This game, to finish a task, can take four hours. Like, from planting, from harvesting a field to getting a field ready, back to harvesting it again, is like fucking four hours, three hours. Or it was. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a lot faster now with that better tractor, but... Like, I've been on for two hours, and I've, let's see, I've loaded some logs into a truck and dropped off Oops, two loads of corn. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's just everything, the time scales in this game are much longer than other games. Trailers getting about as high as I want it to be because I don't want it to be any too top heavy for the trip up the mountain. Yeah, we could buy you a Scorpion T Tex. I'm down. I don't give a fuck. Is that going to be like good for the long term though? Like, uh, Scorpion King? Yeah, like is it oh, better God, than yeah. a front end loader? Once later on you start coupling it with the front end loader, oh, it's nuts what you can do. The blog just doesn't want to sit in the right spot. It works. It's this weird. is the last log I'll put on because I don't want to. I don't want to overdo this. I feel like we're playing robots or something. Like there's a couple little mm -hmm. things running around this tractor. <laughs> oh, it kind of settled down in there. So how much is the Scorpion King? Four forty, I think. 440,000, something like that. No, I'm not even close. It's, um... Well, that little log load is probably going to be 50 or 60, and then this is going to be another 30, what I'm got, what we got going right now with this field. Like, yeah, we've got a long way to go, but it's not, like, outrageously far away. God, this latency, come on. I know there's a thunderstorm rolling in. Just let me deliver this load of logs. Come on. Let me drive it. <laughs> uh, come on. Is it worse with more people on? No, it's it's totally him. It's, the server doesn't care about it's running. It runs good. Yeah, it's just because it's because there's a thunderstorm rolling on in here. And of course, my ISP is completely terrible. The only thing like the server seems to care about is when there's, when he goes ape shit and cuts down like twenty trees. When you <laughs> when he falls a tree, you can feel it on the server. It's just feeling the majesty of the tree falling to the ground. Yeah, like I know oh. when he's cutting trees down because like things just kind of stop for half a second every <laughs> once in a while. Here I am trying to follow the roads, and T-Tex is just driving through fields. Well, the only reason I'm driving across this field is because it's all flat. If it wasn't, I would not be doing this. 
Believe me, going up this goat trail into the mountains where the sawmill is, I go, I follow the roads. And I only do like 30 kilometers an hour. I can't accept contracts. I'm just oh. a extra here. here. Yeah, I can change that. There you go. All right, try again. There we go. Field 12. Where the heck is field 12? To the right yeah, of us. I can survive and get That's like the biggest survive field. And get this, uh, yeah, it looks like it. If I can survive and get this delivered, I might have to hop off for a while, unfortunately. Do you have so a I just fertilizer? See it, my connection is struggling, but. Is the only fertilizer you guys have sitting over at uh, the main base? Yeah. Are you going like eight now? Uh, nine. I don't know how you fall the trees. Uh, when I've been following them, I, uh, uh, no, let's see if I can, let me get this delivered first, see where I stand, oh, that's not good, bad leg spike, oh god, this is a disaster gonna happen. This teamwork. It's one of like the more cooler things you can do when there's more than more, more than just you in in this game. So if, cooperative harvesting. So if I weren't here, if it was just you and T Tex, would he have to do this, or can you hire someone to do this? No, I would hire I would hire someone to run the harvester, and I would do what. Like what is this? Like, cause so logging is hard for the AI. What else is hard for the AI? Oh, well, logging is impossible for the AI. Uh, driving to the stores to sell things is impossible for the AI. The AI, AI can literally just work a field. <laughs> okay. And even then, it's questionable. <laughs> Uh, once I sell this load off, Corey, you might have to drive the truck back because I'm I'm going down in flames with my connection here. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you are. You're not a robot. No, like my voice is kind of up and down, but my latency in the game is just I'm I'm on fire. I'm going down in flames. Like it's 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 bad. Like baked potato. And there's a bad thunderstorm rolling in, so I I gotta get off. How can you tell your latency? It shows map. it in the map. Little numbers, millis. Your little number in the MS. On your little mini map. Oh, there it is, yeah. I'm running at like 40. When it's behaving, I run it at about 30 something. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that it's not very good for me. Ching. Halfway to your little machine. Yes. All right, Corey, the truck's all yours. I recommend when you're going down that mountain, like that goat path, maybe restrict yourself to 50 kilometers an hour or something. Okay, which way do you go? I just take the south path from here, and that leads down out of the mountain. Already at 80%. Oh shit. Are we, not, are we gonna have an annoying, like, half load? Thousand units, thousand units left? I think so. Maybe. Can you ride another person in the same vehicle? No. 
I wish, but no. What iteration? Good luck. You can't do that? That sucks. It sucks too because there's like passenger seat in a lot of the combines. Yeah, well even in like this big rig there's a... There's a seat. Helper D. Is that my sprayer? Did you shut off the... Oh, you did shut off the auto. Yeah. Hmm. i turn it back on. Alright, I'm out for now. I'll check back later, hopefully, if I my connection hasn't exploded. Alright. Ta-ta for now. See ya. See ya. Oh my goodness. This is kind of weird, this lag. Or this delay. I'm getting like sub 50 MS right now, though. Yeah, I don't really have. I don't really feel lag on this. Where's the server located? Montreal. Oh shit, it's East Coast. Ish. Like, I was just driving and trying to turn, and it didn't turn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm at 95%. Yeah, go dump it, I guess. That's what? annoying. Hold on. Well, I, need, I need to top it off. I want to just get a little bit more. Whoop, whoop. This turns so easily. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool, this big waterfall. smokes. Ugh. This is hard to drive. I didn't make a mistake going this road. You're following the road? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy. There's a f beautiful, nice flat field here just waiting for somebody to drive through. <laughs> There's a power lines right in the middle of your field. Weird. Yeah. Yep. T Tex. Uh, didn't mind that. Well, it's a pretty common BC Hydro thing. Okay, I am going to go buy us a skid steer because I So all that stuff that's left over after you harvested the corn, you can can you make money off that or Uh what do you mean? Like are you, are you talking about like the like what what's on the field right now or uh, no, the field's done. Um what we need to do now is get the that get that track 
uh, back out and plowing. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, or I can, I'm gonna get a dude to do that. But what I am going to do is get a skid steer. Or wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a skid steer because I know what they can do. And a Whoa. bucket. Ugh. I wish I would have seen how Tex uh, falls these trees. Uh, I mean, I don't know how he does his whole process, but I can show you how I, he, I know how he starts it. His, his method and my method would be different. I can tell you that right. Well, as long as it gets done. Yeah, I mean, I used to do the... In the old... And, and when we played 17, like, I was, uh... We were... We basically didn't farm in 17. We basically just logged. That's what I mean when I say, like, when we, you get, when we get a front-end loader, dude... That's when real money starts happening. I should have brought the trailer for this. Skid steers only go 18. <laughs> Jeez. We have like a like a regular semi trailer for picking up equipment. You do have a trailer? Yeah, I have a low rider or whatever there. Like T-Tech still uses the winch. I don't think I would use the winch where where the trees are at right now. That's one thing that separates us. T-Tex is much more methodical than I am, which is fine. Where's your trailer? Uh, it's kind of in like another field. It's like north of our field. Oh, I see it. <laughs> what am I running over? Oh, it's just a fork. Uh, Forks. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid green crap. I like how T-Tex told me to put it there so it's out of the way. Well, it was out of the way, and then I ran over it with the combine. Excellent. This thing looks funny with the bucket. It's a little tiny skid steer with uh, a massive fucking... I feel like this bucket is way oversized. <laughs> oh, oh, I went the wrong way. See this thing. Okay, so... Uh -oh. Do I need to do anything with this tractor, or just leave it here, or...? Uh, I'm gonna fill you up with one more load because there's a there's a pile of corn sitting there and that's what I bought the skid. Okay. It's not a full load, but may as well clean it up. Guess I'll just pick up this thing. Oh, you made it here. Yeah. It's 18. Just... Not impossibly slow. I was just coming to pick you up. Do you need that? Uh, do you, can you bring that truck actually over here? Uh, Richard, can you use the truck so we can get the yellow tractor rolling on uh, fielding? Sure. Field things. What? Are, yeah, but so where do you want me to just leave? Just leave this wherever. Uh, park the trailer. Kind of park the trailer like next to the combine or something. Oh no, the trailer. No, 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 no. Tractor. We're gonna we're gonna need it. Uh, can you? Okay, I'll show you how to hook up a NPC. Uh, pick up the yellow, the big yellow trailer. Oh, yeah, that one. I need to go from this side, don't I? Uh oh. Jesus. <laughs> Did I get myself stuck in here? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to cut some trees down. Uh, the most important thing. Well, it's not the most important thing, but the one thing that you want to be careful of when you're setting up an NPC. So. Uh, you're going to have to set the tool up for him, or I always do. And then I line it up properly with the edge of the field. So go to the corner of the field, like, over there, where I'm pointing. 
They typically seem to straighten themselves out to go straight, I found. But they won't move over if you're not at the edge. Yeah, that's what I mean. So you, you get them, like, it doesn't matter if you're even, like, off the edge a little bit. Like, it doesn't... What matters is they're getting 100%. So you want to unfold the unfold the part, the tool. And then... Uh, ah, no! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to squeeze through here. <laughs> it's like unfolding in my face. Uh, jeez, I hope that's lined up properly. Okay. Uh, and then just press H. Oh God! Uh oh! No! 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 That doesn't sound good. Okay, I missed the edge, but whatever. Which truck am I picking up? Uh, the semi. Oh my god, this good steer is stuck. Oh, it has that. Okay, that would that was nice to. You don't want the one that's got the log attachment thing. Uh, yeah, the one that drives. Can I just leave the trailer here? Can you still load it? Uh, I'm kind of stuck, so I may need some assistance when you get here. Uh... Hey, I unstuck myself. Okay. Skid steer is a little bit short to be loading this particular. <laughs> I don't know if I can unhitch this thing. Do you guys need help over there? No, I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. I just a little skids here's a little bit. I didn't realize it had one of those fancy. Fancy bucket. Oh geez, I don't think I can pick up three. Yeah, three is pushing it. I think two is like pretty much the max. You might do. It might be easier with T Texas <laughs> tractor. Oh, she's doing a wheelie. I didn't purposely pick up three logs, but... I don't know if I can lift it high enough to get them on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like rocking back and forth. Oh. Oh, you got them going that way. I see. Yeah, get them going the other way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see, because he gets stuck. Yeah. They don't navigate objects. They, I, and calling them AI is very generous. Well, there, there's no trees left. No logs. So, does he just fall these towards the trailer? Yeah, like away from the other trees. So you want to look at them. Uh, I don't know if you 
I don't know how much how many trees you've fallen, but if you look towards the like the fields, uh, they'll fall to the left. So towards the trailer. And then T Dex does all show with like a winch. I wouldn't bother with that. Just leave them where they're at. Pick them yeah, up. Yeah, like just leave them where they're at. Clean them up, and then just. How much does he leave on the bottom? Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, I, I don't know how much he leaves. But I leave like a lot. Like I leave, I don't fuck around because if after that bug you were talking about, I don't yeah. want to. I leave like I don't know, like a foot and a half, two feet. I don't know how long he cuts them. I think he does ton and a half. Is it ten and a half? Ten, he says. Okay. Yeah, ten. You can usually get three. Oh, is that gonna hit the one. tractor? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was close. <laughs> it almost hit the tractor. Ah, uh, let's move this a little bit. <laughs> okay, Richard, I'm almost ready for that load. Uh, I hold on. I still don't know where the which. I still don't know which one I'm supposed to get in. The one, the logging truck. Okay, I don't know how to unhitch it though. Um, Q. Yeah, it should just be Q. Oh, okay. It should only be one. Of, there's only one attached. It only gets complicated when you have attachments that are attached to attachments. Unless it's that way, then there's it's just Q. Okay, because like there wasn't a prompt for it. Right. Okay, so where are we going? No, damn you! Hold on. So there's a little bit of corn left. <laughs> currently loading the skid steer is a fucking pain in the butt but it's a handy little machine oh you've just been oh i see it's like barely not tall enough but it just barely makes <laughs> oh my god it's just barely tall enough The, the like extendy bucket is really helpful. Is that it or the extendy? Uh, no, there's like 300 left. Okay. I just like having a skid steer around because they're just kind of good for little handy little jobs. And we can buy a stump grinder for it. How uh, to get rid of the stumps? Yeah. How did you? How do you get rid of them currently? We have a stump grinder, but it's for one of the tractors. Which is fine, but it takes up a tractor. And tractors are kind of like gold. Because if I ideally, I would like one of my tractors back. <laughs> <laughs> What's your tractors? Well, the one with the skinny tires, that, that one's usually working in the fields, but then we got the super tractor, but I still I still have a use. Ah, it's rolling down the hill. <laughs> well, good thing we have winches. That bucket does look kind of big for that thing. Yeah, it's this is a skid steer bucket. It's like the size right, of the good. skid steer. I'm surprised they don't have the bobcat license because that's kind of I don't really call these skid steers I call them bobcat yeah it would be uh, easier to just call them that one that there's a mod for bobcat I saw they're just probably being a penis with their license. Uh-oh. Somebody was blocked by something. Hey, that guy should be done. Oh, that was, that was me.
measly 8k. Humans. Something. So this one over here that I was driving that has the narrow tires, you say that's the one for the field? Usually, before this one, yeah. Well, take it. Do what you need to do. I mean, T-Tech's well, here. You can use his. Yeah, do you, I mean, do you guys need two tractors? Not at this moment. Um, yeah, because I got I to gotta go get dinner here in a sec. This is rolling down okay. the hill now. I'm just gonna leave this trailer. Right yeah, here. it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Is it alt alt right click something alt right click hmm. I should probably straighten that out doesn't matter too much. Well, I mean, because if we're going to, like, harvest, I don't want it to, you know, we want to run over anything. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that works. Okay, the field needs liming. Okay, oh car. You said you shut shut some options off. What did you shut off? Weeding. Uh, weeding. Yeah. Alright, I'm off for now. See you guys later. Okay, bye. See ya. Wait, okay, so this server, uh, when there's no one on, it'll pause, but if you log on, it continues? Yes. Okay. And you shut off withering, didn't you? Yes. So even if we're on and doing logging, this field won't die? Nope.